So when you guys have um, radical expressions, um, the first thing that you always want to do is simplify. Simplify, simplify any radical that you can. I can't simplify the square root of 7. I can't simplify the square root of 3. However, the square root of 12, can I take a square number that goes into that? Yeah, I can do 2 times the square root of 4 times 3 plus 3 square root of 3 minus the square root of 7. Well, I know that the square root of 4 is 2, so this is 2 times 2 times square root of 3 plus 3 square root of 3 minus square root of 7. Does everybody see what I did? So whenever you, take the, whenever you simplify this, so square root of 12 is simplified to 2 square root of 3. But I, I'm multiplying that square root by 2, so now I have to multiply these two numbers. So then I have 4 square root of 3 plus 3 square root of 3 minus square root of 7. So how do we add the radicals? And I want you guys to be very, very careful when you're doing this, because what is true for addition and subtraction is not true for the same for, uh, bless you, is for multiplication and division. For instance, 3x um, plus, let's do this, 4x plus 3x is equal to plus 4x plus 3x is just equal to 7x. However, 4x times 3x is equal to 12x squared. What that means is, we multiply our two coefficients and we multiply our two variables. All right? However, when we're adding and subtracting, we just add our coefficients and the variable remains the same. That is the exact same rules that we need to apply with radicals. These, radic these radicands, 3 and 3, are the same. Or these, we're taking the, rat the root of both of these numbers, of the same number, right? So therefore, I can combine them. So 4 plus 3 is 7 square root of 3 minus the square root of 7. However, the square root of 3 is not the same as the square root of 7, so I cannot subtract these. So therefore, my final answer looks like that. Brandon, put that away.